Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Oh, there he is. I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but... I can't talk to you. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God. It's not... I didn't do anything. Wow. Fuck off! Leave me alone! What? Fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. Oh, God. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. It's like Big Brother, true. Oh. It should have been you instead. Alex? <gasps> no! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! All the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call.
I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? Yeah. All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted, to have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. Wow. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter! I keep... Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex.
it was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. <laughs> You're not alone. gorilla suit <laughs> does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool no no he chases a guy in a banana suit that guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool okay i'm i'm sorry this is a mexican restaurant eh, nominally <laughs> <laughs> the food is uh well, terrible but it's gabe's favorite place <laughs> i tell you he's the oldest 12 year old i know Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something... You should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something that makes you so angry, you just want to scream. You can really focus until you feel it. the wasted potential. You're angry for me, for Ethan and Charlotte, for everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time... Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this?
<laughs> Must be a good memory. I wonder if I can piece it together. <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. <laughs> Gabe! That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> finish burying the goose or not <laughs> okay also property of the crown <laughs> really <laughs> well they are technically protected under the migratory bird treaty act <laughs> <laughs> how There's just something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me. And I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with... with me? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You're a literal wizard. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But that... that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But... Now, I guess... Just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... Why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. 
No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Oh god. Whew. Get myself together again there. <laughs> um, we calmed Mac down. We reminded Eleanor about what happened. Charlotte didn't take Typhon's money. Alex enjoyed a quiet moment on the dock. Alex tidied up the uh, tidied up the apartment. Alex put the photograph on Gabe's memory table. Oh, we could also put the album on Gabe's memory table. Alex left the happy face on the dartboard. Yeah. And Alex didn't look through Steph's comp book. Oh, we could have gone through it. Huh. Alex spent a moment thinking of Gabe. Yeah. <laughs> that 
was a lot. Alex admitted she didn't hear Gabe's call. Yeah. Ryan was able to forgive himself. That was really cute. Ryan and Alex shared a hug at the ravine. Alex claimed the title of foosball champion. Seth made Storm Rither the LARP boss. Alex didn't help the bird watcher. Oh. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, I may have to explore a little further. And that, I try to do that. Find... Find it, but I did not know how to. Um, yeah. Whew. I need to take a quick breathe. 